Humans have always been fascinated by the oceans. After all, even today, we are not entirely certain what lies beneath the waters that cover more than 70% of the Earth's surface. Unlike land, the ocean is constantly shifting and moving, with currents that could carry a ship off course, and storms that threaten wrecks. When the ocean was still unexplored, these fears often took the form of imaginary monsters. So, what of the creatures that were thought to live there? In 2004, researchers were shocked when the tracking device washed out on a beach in Australia. And soon, the media from all over the place are reporting this incident. So what is that caught everyone's attention? Well, the story starts from here. Four months ago, in November 2003, a filmmaker, Dave Riggs, and a research team captured a female great white shark named Shark Alpha in southwestern Australia. They tagged this healthy 9 feet female great white shark with a tracking device that recorded locations, depth, and temperature as part of the study to investigate the movement of these animals along Australia coasts. The research went well at the beginning. The team also received a signal from Alpha. But then something unexplainable happened. Back to four months later, just like we mentioned earlier, when they found out the shark's black box on the beach, they were shocked. How did the tracking device end up here? What happened to Alpha? Immediately, they retrieved the data contained inside tracking device and the result bewildered the scientists. Initially, the data from the large female great white shark looked normal, with the shark descending and the tank recording surrounding water temperatures. Later, it showed the shark had suddenly plunged 1900 feet deep into the oceans. This inapplicable action is telling us that Alpha seems like trying to escape from something else. Then, at around 2000 feet below the surface, the recorded temperatures increased dramatically from 46 Fahrenheit to 78 Fahrenheit. A temperature at a depth could only come from the tag being inside another animal, an animal big enough to kill and eat a 9 feet great white shark. The tag stayed at a temperature for 8 days, occasionally moving nearer the surface only to descend again. Later, the data showed that the temperature back to 46 Fahrenheit and the tag was drifting with the wave for several months before washing out on the shore. So, did the tracker fall off? It is quite unlikely because the tracker was tagged securely on the alpha shark fin. When the research team recovered the tracker, they found something unusual. The surface of the tracker has obvious corrosions. It is not hard to tell it was soaking in the digestive system of another animal. This further confirms their inference that alpha was eaten. The filmmaker, Dave Riggs, said in 2014, when he was first told about the data that came back from the tag that was on the shark, he was absolutely blown away. Alpha is 9 feet long, while the average adult female shark can grow up to 13 to 15 feet. So, she is still in her youth and there is room for growth. Regardless of the size, she is still one of the top predators in the oceans. But what's going to eat a shark that big? David Riggs later released a documentary with the name of the, the Search for the Ocean Super Predators, gives a few details of the bewildering scenario and what is this apex predators. The first explanation is the most straightforward and simple, which is the tracking device was not worn properly and fell off. Then the tag got eaten by other fish, but this explanation is very unlikely because the tracking device was designed to fit on a shark fin securely, which is impossible to fall off. And if the tracking device did actually fell off, they couldn't explain how it could suddenly plunge 1900 feet deep into the oceans. Second explanations. Some researchers think the super predator is more likely that killer whale, also known as orca. Killer whales are known to kill and eat great whites. If the great white shark is at the top of the food chain pyramid in the oceans, then the killer whale is undoubtedly above the tips of the pyramid. They can grow bigger than the great white. And not only they have strong body and smarter, they also hunt in group. So did the killer whale kill Alpha? The answer is no, because killer whales are not generally deep divers. They usually dive to around 328 feet. So far, the research only shows that the deepest they could dive is recorded at 866 feet. So killer whale is not a super predator. What about deep sea giant squid? Could it be the super predators? Giant squid live up to their name. The largest ever recorded by scientists was almost 43 feet long and may have weighed nearly a ton. They are one of the top predators under 1,650 feet to 3,300 feet below the ocean's surface. Their only natural enemy is sperm whale. When the two meet, they will definitely fight to the death. Based on the size of the giant squid, it can easily hunt and eat alpha. 
However, according to the tracking device, the Super Predator was occasionally moving nearer the water's surface and descend again, while the giant squids only live in deep sea. Therefore, it is excluded from the list. Well, of course, there are people who keep spreading that the Super Predator was the long extinct Megalodon. Megalodon was not only the biggest shark in the world, but one of the largest fish ever to exist. These enormous sharks dominated the oceans until becoming extinct just 3.6 million years ago. Based on the size of the Megalodon teeth, most estimates that they could grow up to 50 to 60 feet, which is three times longer than the largest recorded great white shark. With over 100,000 newtons bite force, it can certainly eat alpha in one bite. But do they still exist? Some people are convinced that they might still exist. Polynesians, fishermen around the seas of New South Wales in Australia respectfully call this beast the Lord of the Deep and tell tales of Holibri large sharks. A video which surfaced in 2016 shows what looked like a 60-foot shark illuminated in the darkness of the sea. On May 27, 2021, a gargantuan 17-feet shark circling a cruise ship full of terrified tourists in the Atlantic was compared to a megalodon. Given accounts of spotting the prehistoric creatures while in the later years, conspiracy theories have claimed that the gigantic sharks still roam the seas. Despite these accounts, the majority of our experts are adamant that there's no evidence that the giant predators still exist. Therefore, Megalodon is not the super predators. It appears that scientists can close the book on wild conspiracy of some kind of huge sea monsters, but the culprit is no less shocking. According to the researchers who investigated the puzzling case, it was a colossal cannibal great white shark. David Riggs and his team believe that the only thing that could reasonably eat a shark is something that resembles a shark, only bigger. The bigger the shark, the bigger the bully. The scientists claim their research data match all of the tracking information from the lost shark. The body temperature of these migrating great whites was the same, and the size of the cannibal great white shark, which they estimated to be 16 foot long and weigh over 2 tons, could easily pull off the same speed and trajectory capture in the tracking device. As for why a larger shark would cannibalize a smaller shark, experts suggested theories about how it could have been attacked. They hypothesized that it was a territorial dispute or perhaps even a hunger-induced attack. Although there are loopholes in the statements, the big shark scenario is the theory that is most widely accepted, despite some scientists suggest the internal temperature of the animals that ate the shark is a weird one. It appears to be too low for a killer whale and too high for another shark, unless it was a massive, a mysterious massive creature not yet discovered by human, or another shark that is several times larger than a great white shark, or the ancient mega shark still lurk in the deep seas. Nobody knows. After all, human only discovers small percent of the oceans. The rest remains mostly undiscovered and unseen by humans. Anyway, what creature do you think the super predator would be? Please comment below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video.